What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new video. And what we're gonna be talking about today is the top three Town Hall 9 attacks that you need to know right now in the current meta. Let's get into it. Right, guys the first attack that we're gonna be taking a look at that we're gonna be taking a dive into uh, as one of the three Town Hall 9 attacks you need to know in the current meta right now and that is the Shattered Hobo uh, for a while and it is still a viable attack uh, but for a while we were seeing a lot of stone hobo attacks we have slightly seen a shift to a shattered approach using two golems and that way you can bring that many more hogs the bases you're looking at are bases where you can get a nice funnel set uh, uh, to get your heroes in and get the bowlers in and ideally you want to be able to take out the core in order to set up a nice defense pathing for your hogs to make it around the base. So we're gonna go ahead and hit play and watch how poor self-control breaks this base down, how he's gonna set the funnel, get those bowlers inside. You do not want your bowlers walking. How he's gonna get the bowlers inside and have, again, a nice defense path in a kind of an L-shaped fashion going around the base. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at that once he starts the hog portion. So we start off with two golems. Uh, time the wall breakers. There wasn't any splash damage, so you didn't have to worry about timing any mortars uh, or wizard towers in order to get the the first wall break uh, successful. So he goes ahead and drops down a nice jump spell. And notice he's going to be able to take out the enemy queen, uh, the uh, enemy CC, and he's going to be able to also have access to the enemy BK. Again, it's all about, all these attack strategies are all about base identification and execution. So you already saw he set up a perfect funnel. Golems went inside, heroes went inside, bowlers went inside, uh, and he did use one rage and one jump and two poisons for that kill squad, meaning he has two heal spells that he can use on the hog portion. You can clearly see the pathing that these hogs are gonna take through the base. I uh, did drop that nice heal spell in that expo compartment, that island expo compartment, where there was a giant bomb. So all of his hogs are healed up, uh, coming into the last few defenses. And look at how far his heroes got. Look, his queen still has ability. Still has ability, takes out that Tesla right there. Had one more heal spell for his hogs as there was a giant bomb uh, on the other side of that Tesla. Had, had his second heal spell timed perfectly to get that down. Uh, the last defense uh, to go down is gonna be this mortar up here at the top. But this attack right now is definitely in uh, the top three in the current meta right now at Town Hall 9 attacks that you need to know to get these successful uh, three stars in your war attacks. Now, let's go ahead and check check out one more example using this same attack strategy. All right, guys, here is the next base and uh, the next example of a successful shattered hobo attack and what it is doing to Town Hall 9s right now in the current meta. And like we saw in the first attack, it's all about setting up the funnel. It's all about how you start this attack off, where you get your golems inside, you get your heroes inside, and you get, most importantly with this attack, other than the heroes, is getting those bowlers inside the base. And you'll see it does work very well on these compact bases uh, where the troops don't have a whole bunch of places to go, uh, especially once you get that funnel set. Uh, these compact bases is what it's working very, very well on, uh, especially when you have those bowlers under rage getting that extra value from those bounces. Uh, and you'll see right here, he's already detonated two giant bombs so he's already taking away quite a few threats for uh, the hog portion eliminating those giant bombs which, with your kill squad which is exactly what you want to do he's already taken out the enemy king he's already taken out the enemy queen uh, he set a nice defense path for the hogs just like we saw in poor self controls attack uh, you want to have a nice l shape uh, defense path for your hogs like we saw in his attack and like we're seeing in Regos, you can clearly see, I'll go ahead and pause it just real quick. You can clearly see uh, the path that these hogs are gonna be taking around this base. Again, in that nice L shape, uh, in a nice L shape fashion. And again, he had, had the exact same spells. He had two poisons, 
uh, to, t to help take out the heroes and the enemy CC. He had a jump and a rage for his kill squad, bringing two heal spells for the hog portion. Uh, again, saying a nice funnel, getting everything inside, getting good value from that rage with those bowlers under rage, and starting a nice defense path for the hogs. And, uh, and you can see right here, ended up completely wrecking this base. We'll go ahead and times through this. Uh, but that's the first attack of the three. We got two more to get through, and I do have two examples of each of these attacks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out an air attack uh, as one of the top three attack strategies you need to know right now in the current meta. All right, guys, next attack strategy, the second one that we're going to be diving into. So we went ahead and checked out uh, a couple attacks using Shattered Hobo right now in the current meta. Now we're going to shift over to air. So the next attack strategy we're going to be featuring is the Tri-Zap uh, Dragon Attack. And I'm sure you guys have seen it featured on the channel a couple times. And I've also been featuring it quite a bit during the live streams. Uh, but these are the types of bases that you're looking for. Uh, bases that have air defense layouts in a compartment like this. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether there's a wall or not. Uh, if you're using three level six lightning spells and a max quake donated in the clan castle, if you get it dropped perfectly right in between those four defenses again whether there's a wall there or not you will wipe out that entire compartment so let's see how we go ahead and break these bases down as rocky Kampachi has absolutely been wrecking at town hall nine using this attack strategy and these air defense layouts are very very common right now in the current meta so as you guys can see right there the compartment is completely wiped out and again like like i've said in other videos you also get both of the cannons or whatever other defenses are inside that compartment. And all that does, uh, whether they're cannons or bomb towers, it still does help with the dragon attack because of the funnel. And you can see the value he's gonna be getting from this baby dragon up here, has already taken out about four or five buildings just with that baby dragon. And again, just setting a nice funnel as he is gonna be entering his dragons right here. There they go. And you can, and that's what your heroes are for. So you do that tri zap quake on the air defense on the other side of the base. That's where you send your king and queen. Look at the value he's gonna be getting from his queen. Look, she, she's gonna get a wizard tower. She's gonna get two archer towers. And again, you have the king funneling trash outside the base on dragon attacks. A successful dragon attack is when you have all the dragons inside the core. You don't have dragons wandering off all sorts of crazy and you're bringing one raid spell and a haste. He did have uh, to take care of the air defenses in this compartment right here. He did have a max hound coming out of the CC. Went ahead and dropped down six loons behind that hound. Hasted the loons in to go ahead and wipe out the other uh, two air defenses. So all the air defenses are down, but look at what the dragons are ending on. Even though he doesn't have a spell for his dragons, uh, you can tell this base is completely wrecked. Even with a Tesla farm ending on a wizard tower and two archer towers is not going to matter. These dragons are so strong right now at Town Hall 9. If, and if you guys didn't notice it, he still has both of his heroes up. His heroes walk from six o'clock up to nine, up to 12 o'clock. That's when you know you're getting good value from all of your troops. Now let's go ahead and check out one more attack using this same attack strategy right now in the current meta. All right, guys, we are back. And here is the next example using this attack strategy. And yet again, Zaraki Kempachi coming in with the Tri-Zap Quake, uh, bringing eight loons, bringing eight dragons, and of course that baby dragon to help with that funnel. So as you guys can see right here, look what he's already done. Uh, there were two cannons and two air defenses inside that six o'clock compartment. He's already wiped it out. And look at the value he's gonna get from this baby dragon. There is no, there's absolutely no air targeting defenses in the range of all this trash out here. So you know he's gonna get good value from that baby dragon. And just like we saw in the first attack featured using this attack strategy, um, on the other side where you go ahead and do that tri-zap quake on the ADs, you send your heroes on the other side to set a beautiful funnel for your dragons. And check out this air sweeper. Even coming into an air sweeper is not gonna matter if you're coming into one because of that rage spell. And we're gonna see uh, Zaraki demonstrating a lot of patience, as you guys are gonna see, uh, with that rage spell. So you'll see dragons are down. And just like in the other attack, 
uh, you usually want to drop anywhere from two to four loons behind your dragons, not only to help under rage to get these defenses down quick, but to absorb any seeking air mines. You'd rather have a balloon hit a seeking air mine than one of your dragons. And I did go ahead and drop one stray dragon down here at the bottom. Uh, again, just to help funnel some of that trash. No, look at the, the, the patience demonstrated before he dropped that rage spell down. Wanted to make sure these dragons were going to be under rage inside that core. He only had an expo uh, hitting one dragon. Uh, so he had, a, he, again, demonstrating a lot of patience before he went ahead and dropped that rage spell down uh, to have those dragons raged up inside the core. And look at how the dragons are fanned out perfectly across the base. And there's literally only one defense that can do any sort of damage, uh, that being the Tesla up here. But look, he still has balloons up, still has six dragons left up, even has his queen still up on the map. Uh, so very, very nice attack. And again, this is the second attack featured um, in this video for the top three Town Hall 9 attacks you need to know in order to get the successful uh these successful bases three starred uh, in your wars. Now let's go ahead and check out the third and final attack strategy we're gonna be featuring in this video. All right guys, the next and final attack strategy that we're gonna be featuring is, you guessed it, the Sui Hero Lalo. And uh, this attack right here uh, that Adam's gonna be demonstrating is on a fresh uh this is a fresh hit the second attack we'll be featuring using uh sui hero lalo at the town hall nine level is going to be a cleanup we'll go ahead and check out the fresh hit first and this is pretty much the generic spell comp uh that we're seeing uh with this attack where you have two hounds two camp hounds one hound donated in the clan castle uh, anywhere from 27, 26 to 30 balloons. Uh, often we do see a baby dragon used. Uh, but this is pretty much going to be, especially on a fresh hit, this is going to be your spell comp. One heal, one rage, one poison, because again, you don't know what's going to be coming out of the CC. Uh, four haste and a skelly spell uh, to help take out the queen. So go ahead and see how Adam is going to be breaking down this base. Notice the clan castle placement. Uh, notice that he can drop one balloon to see what's going to be in the CC. If he dropped that balloon and nothing came out, that would mean there's either a golem or a hound, something that does not target air troops. But you'll see the only thing that came out of that clan castle was a baby dragon. So here we go. Heroes on the other side. He does want to get this air de one out of the four air defenses down using his heroes. Ends up being a Tesla as a little bonus. And he is going to get this cannon again trying to take out any defenses that he can to set up uh, a nice defense path for the balloons. He's going to be starting down here at 6 o'clock, and typically you want to start very heavy on your loons, anywhere from 4 to 6 balloons on, on each defense on the initial deployment. Notice uh, the haste spell placement as well. Doesn't place it way outside the wall. Uh, make sure that he gets every ounce of value from each of those haste spells. Nice rage spell, and notice uh, he did drop that skelly spell on the queen when she was over the wall, uh, and with those skellies under rage, took her out no problem. And again, look at all the loons. Look at all the loons that he has left up. He did save three three loons in the bag. And again, just having a nice counterclockwise uh, loon deployment, rotating around the base counterclockwise. Uh, again, starting heavy on the initial deployment, using that rage in the core to get that queen, uh, using his haste not too far outside the wall. And if you guys notice, he didn't even drop the heal spell on the loons, he is gonna be dropping that heal spell right about now on the clan castle. There it goes. End up swagging a heal spell on this fresh hit using Sui Hero Lalo, uh, an attack strategy you have got to know at Town Hall 9. Now let's go ahead and check out another uh, version of Sui Hero Lalo on a cleanup attack. All right, next up we have Jacob uh, hitting on Oki the Beast uh, using Sui Hero Lalo on a cleanup attack. And we're going to see exactly how he breaks uh, this base down. There we go. Uh, using Sui Hero Lalo. Notice the spell comp. Uh, this one, he's bringing four hounds. He's got 22 loons, uh, only a few minions, but you don't need as many minions for cleanup because you're going to have so much cleanup from when those hounds pop. Uh, check this out. He has queen all by herself. He, he was able to determine and figure out that with his queen, 
not using the king to tank, he can take out two wizard towers and one archer tower. Again, all these attack strategies are all are always coupled with base identification. So there he goes. Once he pops ability, he already took out one wizard tower. There goes the second one. Got the archer tower. And with his king, uh, dropping his king down here at 9 o'clock, where he's going to go ahead and take out that Tesla. And you'll see that wizard was able to take out that mortar just to help with the Lalo portion. And he noticed he didn't get any air defenses with his heroes. Um, and for the spell comp, he's bringing one rage and seven haste. Since he already eliminated uh, two wizard towers, he doesn't really have to worry about bringing a heal spell uh, to combat any splash damage. So he's starting over here, nice loon pathing. They're gonna go from um, that cannon to the archer tower to the other cannon. And he's gonna go ahead and drop down a rage, just like Adam did, where he's gonna have that rage and those skellies inside that rage to take out the enemy queen. Nice loon split, where he's gonna have those balloons under rage to take out that expo. And again, just dropping in these hounds uh, and loons over here at nine o'clock. And just like Adam's attack, where we see he's bringing that haste spell, even finding the sweeper is not gonna matter. He brought seven haste spells uh, using those. Um, once the hounds get out of range where they're no longer tanking for the loons, that's when you're dropping those haste spells to rush those loons in, take out those archer towers, taking out uh, the last two wizard towers. And he's gonna be ending on that air defense and two archer towers up there at 12 o'clock. No splash, uh, no splash damage to worry about. And there you go. He has about 100 loons collapsing on the last defense. And again, just like we saw in Adam's attack, usually starting very heavy on the initial deployment and dropping down hounds, determining, uh, depending on what your heroes get, whether you're going to be going clockwise or counterclockwise, and just dropping in those loons around the base and keeping those loons moving with the hay spells and the rage spells. Uh, and that was a cleanup attack featuring uh, Jacob on Okie the Beast. Uh, and slight variation to the spells. But I'm telling you guys, those three attack strategies can pretty much wreck any base right now at Town Hall 9 in the current meta. We checked out the Shattered Hobo. Uh, we checked out the Sui Hero Lalo. And we checked out uh, one of my favorites being the Zap or, or the, the Tri Zap Quake uh, Mass Dragon Attack right now at Town Hall 9, completely wrecking bases. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.